serve her who is virgin mother and queen. Blooms are late. There are very few bees. The fierce frost we have this winter. Half the hides on Speaker Rob fail to last a week. laid leathery leaves. Frost is not Yes? What do you seek? Kind old geezer I just saw you talking to. Who was he? One of our circle. Gremist. An exceptional alchemist. But a stubborn main ass. Well, been around sorceress is my share. Long enough to know that with great enlightenment comes even greater arrogance. But sorceresses welcome apprentices, am I right? Not Gremist. So many formulae in that head. So many methods of ingesting and absorbing lethal toxins. But he'd rather take them to the grave than share. Why is he averse to having an apprentice? How should I know? Perhaps because he's a stubborn mean ass. No lie in the legends. To talk to you. But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. You seem a nice enough guy. Well, I'm not. I plan never to be. I became a druid to avoid others. To not have to deal with them. Not to smile when I don't wish to. To feign compassion when someone's travails matter less to me than a pair of birch cones. So I shall be straight. Get out of my sight, before something, I know not what, deprives you of yours. I want you to share your knowledge. Teach me alchemy. <laughs> you? My apprentice? <laughs> That's rich. While you're at it, why did you ask Uderic if they'll share Spikarog with you? I'm serious. <laughs> Is that so? Don't make me laugh. I've devoted my life to alchemy. Sun, literary. Spent countless days and nights with nothing but alembics, choking on fumes, scorching my skin with acids. If you think I'll simply portray to you what I learned through years of sacrifice and toil, then you're mistaken. Deeply. Can I convince you somehow? Oh, gods. You're as bothersome as a gadfly before a storm. Hmm. The way I'm preparing to perform a rather tricky ritual. So I could use some help. Even yours. I require three favors. Do them for me, and I shall accept you as my apprentice. Well, well. There's a way after all. Get off your high horse and listen. First, you must bring me a pimpernel from the Muskogan Forest. Second, I need a bottle of spirit from the old distillery on Hail Hill. Finally, convince Fridjof to help me perform the rite. He's a druid like I am. You'll find him near Blandara. I believe he's there on a matter of some import. So, what will it be? Hmm. Pimper now. As far as I know, it's got no use in alchemy apart from... Would you teach your grandmother to suck eggs? It's not any pimpernel, but the one that grows in the Morskoden forest. And if the rumors are true... A creature jealously guards all the herbs growing there. Forest creature jealously guarding some secrets? Sounds familiar. Spirit, why do you need that? As you must know potential apprentice. Alcohol is the base for all potions. Superior alcohol means a higher quality potion. This spirit has no equal. 
its strength, its flavor. Unfortunately, the distillery atop Hale Hill has fallen into disrepair. We've lacked a source ever since. But you'll manage somehow, won't you? You're so confident. This Fritjof, who is he? A Vader maker, huh? You don't know the word, do you? And I pledge to make you my apprentice. A Vader maker is a druid who can manipulate the weather, stop a storm, cause hail, make lightning turn your enemy to ash. I advise to address him with the utmost respect, if you value your life. All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If you wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and what to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind. Come on, Roach. Another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Grenis has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerge drained, with a blank stare, and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Grenis to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun's over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. What do you know about this forest? Not much. Funny, isn't it? A druid should know every tree, every bush. But even we know not to venture to some parts of the isle. We can subdue animals, but not monsters. And the word is, one has made its lair here. A Leshen? An Axebrun? Sadly, I don't know. As I said, those who have entered do not speak of who or what they saw. Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. Flower. No petals.
There were flowers here as well, but they've been picked. Every last one. Footprints. Some fresh, others faded. All leading in the same direction. Stop, please. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is great. No, no, stop. <sighs> please. Stop it, that tickles. <laughs> Too can play this game, you horny goat woman. Unhand him, hellish creature. Ramon, step away from her. Ah, calm down. I've not been harmed. I came here. You don't know what you're saying. She's cast a spell on you. Nonsense. I need no spell. These boys come here themselves. In fact, I must use magic to drive them away, make them go home. Only Ramond was nice, so I let him stay. I see through your lies. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I shall kill you here and now, monster! I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure but a sentient one, and basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no cold fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. I'd advise against it. I will return. With one who does not carry a sword for show. Why did you take my side? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witches. Especially not out of gratitude. Can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I shall take you myself. And you, Ramond, go pick some more violets. Just the indigo ones this time. Uh, indigo? You mean blue? No. Indigo is indigo. <sighs> Men. Why you need all these flowers? Nosy, aren't you? Wait and see. Pretty, don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, king cups, pimpernels. I must pick some edelweiss. Take one, but no more. I've put a lot of work into making this cavern cozy.
Cyclops won't bother me anymore. Can look around peacefully now. Distilling recipes. Parchment's a little faded, but legible. Lucky, bit of mash left. Here's where the mash goes, probably. Oi! Witcher! Got an offer for you. That's right. And what do they call you, Witcher? Me? Drifter, stranger, mutant. Sometimes even by my name. Geralt of Rivia. Huh. A man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Grimmest wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him. 
For old time's sake, but I've more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass and pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain, but fear them. Wait just a moment. Perhaps you could help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill involving your sword. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What do you say? Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. Sacrifice. Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep. I've not managed a storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. For the best? Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, it'd not give me peace. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. Will you go see Gremis now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I shall gladly have a to help him with his ritual. Till then.
did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fritjof, shall we begin? The sooner the better. We've a long night ahead of us. The regiment's only for members of the inner circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage, come on. Will you finally tell me what the ritual's about? Nay, nay. No one likes a meddler. Suffice to say, it's a burning matter now. Shame! have another. That's good stuff. Aye, as the best from Moss Gordon. And spare from Hail Hell. Good times, Fritjof. <laughs> good times. Finally, something other than damn potions and transmutations. Guess the ritual's not over yet. Good. I thought I told you to sh stay outside. Only turns of the inner circle. Sharkle Smirkle, let the boy have some fun. He's earned it. <laughs> Fine. Pour yourselves on. Gerd, let the lessons begin. Don't you think you ought to sober up first? Ah, once I'm sober, we'll get nowhere on account of my hangover. No shit. <laughs> Let's start with ingesting toxins. Best approach, practice, makes it perfect. Mm -hmm. I've practiced a lot already. Good thing. I'll make learning my secret method easier. Look, you take the potion like this, and go. Who said old age is a burden?